hanging with the Herberts vlog. Today is actually a weekday vlog, which is a rare occurrence because normally I only vlog on the weekends, but today we have Nathan's appointment. This is kind of a mix of his one year and his 15 month appointment. Uh, we missed his one year just because we were off island due to the typhoon and it's closer to his 15 month now. So they're just combining them because booking appointments is so, so difficult right now. So I called yesterday to book him an appointment and I was thinking they were like gonna give me one for August and they asked if I could come in at 3 p.m. today, which is like when they said, when I scheduled yesterday it was tomorrow. So 3 p.m. today and I was like, okay, well sure, that works with my work schedule, but I figured you were gonna book it for August and they said, there was literally no appointments available whatsoever. So yeah, we are heading to the Naval Hospital for his appointment. So I don't know, I guess I'm, I'm debating or not, because I was able to get myself an appointment for next week since I missed my doctor's appointment, but I guess Pete's is just ridiculous to get an appointment for. So I'm thinking we might switch him over to Branch. I just need to figure out how we do that, whether that be the Naval Hospital or if I have to go and call TRICARE overseas to get that switched, but I think it would just be so much easier to be seen at Branch. Uh, they just opened the brand new Branch Clinic not too long ago on the Naval Base, so Rowdy and I are seen there, but Nathan is still seen at Peds because when I gave birth to him, um, I had a friend that worked at Peds, and she said at the time, it was super easy to get appointments at Peds. This was before they opened up the Branch Medical, and so we went and took that advice and it was not good advice. So, like I said, I might debate switching him over there. And it's a shorter drive because right now, like Branch is like less than a five minute drive from our house and the Naval Hospital is like a 20 minute drive. So, uh, hi Nene. I just picked him up from daycare. Um, I always leave him. I got off at 12, so I did work today, but I got off at 12. I always leave him because he goes down for a nap from 12 to two which has been a good routine. Normally I don't pick them up till 2.30 because as soon as they get up from nap time, um, they have snack time. So I pick them up at 2.30 and then he's had his nap and his snack, but obviously today is a little bit different. So I figure I will take you along for his doctor's appointment and then we will go from there and maybe we'll just do like an evening routine of what it's, what it's like on the weekdays. So um, stay tuned, Rowdy's gonna be home late too. He's getting home probably close to the same time as us. Uh, probably like 3, 30, 4 o'clock um, cause he has some stuff going on at work today. So let's go to Nathan's appointment and let's see how much he weighs. I'm very curious how much he weighs cause he's a chunky little boy. Mommy buy you a snack. Good. You want more? Uh. More? How do you wear sunglasses? Look. So fabulous. Oh, good job. Good job. Wow. You want some more?
Is that a car? the first time that he's had like the live virus I guess before this time um, they don't give you a live virus we're a little behind on his shots because he got his one year instead of his uh, 15 months so we'll have to go back for his 15 months but yeah so we are on our way home now probably gonna give him some Tylenol when we get home just to um, bypass any temperature that he might spike and then any pain that he might have eat some dinner and get ready for bedtime. So um, I think Rowdy's off too. So it is four o'clock. We were there for roughly an hour and a half because we were early. So I will check back in with you guys when I get home. This camera battery's dying, so I need to switch it out. I just forgot to bring the extra one. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we are home now and Rowdy's not home. So he must have got stuck at the office later than expected. So bummer, but I know he's supposed to have long days this week. So gotta get it done. That is just the life of a military spouse. So, um, since we just ran errands, I don't feel like cooking tonight. So, Red Baron brick oven pizza. That's the oven for dinner for the win. Nathan loves pizza, so I know he's gonna eat good. But he is doing okay. How you doing, Bubby Bubs? Oh. Show him your owies. He's got one there. Oh, we just spilled water all over the floor. Can you say that? So them your owie, you got one owie, and you got two owies, owie. So he's not a happy camper, but he got shots. He took a little power snooze on the way home. He's typically pretty good about sleeping in cars, but I don't know if that was due to the shots today that he took a nap or, or what, but what are you doing? You eating snacks off the floor? We always have a supply of Cheerios on the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this pizza and then hopefully her Rowdy will be home soon. Everything goes white. I can feel the breeze. Euphoric delight. Bye. Bye. 
拜拜。All right, you guys, this is probably gonna be a short vlog. I really didn't capture that much footage, but I still wanted to vlog today, but I'm gonna go ahead and end out the video here. We are just finishing up our nighttime routine. If you guys want a whole nighttime routine video, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment, but we are just enjoying our bottle. The doctor today did tell us that we should start weaning off of bottles. Um, let me know how accurate that is. What age did you guys wean your child off a bottle? Because right now it's definitely part of our nighttime routine. He uh, has a bottle, falls asleep, and then he goes down in his crib and he sleeps through the night. So that routine works for us, but we definitely have been having issues in the last couple weeks. And I think it's the amount of milk he's drinking before bed because he drinks like a full bottle. But he has been wetting through everything at night. So leave, it, leave me your tips and tricks when it comes to that too. Like... We went up a diaper size because we thought it was that. We bought overnight diapers. That hasn't helped. He literally soaks through his diaper, his PJs, his sleep sack, all through his sheets. And I'm having to wash his sheets every morning and everything. So leave me your tips and tricks. Should I just like wean him off the bottle? I don't think he's getting enough milk at school because they drink open cup. And half the time more of it ends up on himself than in his actual mouth. So like... I feel like I need to give him the bottle because when he comes home, he's like chugging his water bottle, like chugging, like he'll drink his full water bottle in like one sitting as soon as we get home. So I know he's thirsty. And so, yeah, I don't want to like cut the milk and him not be getting enough. So yeah, leave me your advice below, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Don't forget to give my videos a thumbs up. If you like our vlogs, leave me a comment. Let me know who's watching and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another hanging with the Herbers again. We're gonna go snuggle. Say bye bye. Bye bye, friends. Love you.